<laughs> Hello guys and welcome back in another requested watch actually actually this is an old request I totally forgot it forget about uh, this is a 40 PSI racing engine I mean someone requested this crazy idea with a for, for a 40 PSI really I mean more than 30 PSI you will not gain that much difference I mean no this is not a truck engine or a or a massive industrial engine that needs so much boost. I'm gonna try and make it run at 40 psi without exploding or losing power, so I'm gonna try good. Okay, so making a racing engine. What What is a proper racing engine, do you think? Inline 4, inline 3, inline 6, V6, V8, V10, V12, what do you think? Which one of these? I mean, making a twin turbo engine is good but let's go crazy let's go like uh, these these videos uh, these crazy drag racing engines that sometimes they use like the RB and all these crap engines that's uh, some people tune them so hard make them run at, uh, at, at thousands of horsepower from a, 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 a normal inline 6 like an RB or a, or a JZ engine if it was one JZ or two JZ or an RB24, RB26, you know, on, on all these, all these inline six families, right? So let's start with an inline six racing engine. Let's use. I'm not gonna make an RB or a 21JZ or 2JZ. No, because all all of them requires two engines, twin turbos, and the game doesn't support twin en twin turbo charges for a uh, in any any inline in any inline inline four inline three inline six. This game doesn't support twin turbo for them. Only single turbo, except the V the V engines. All the V engines get twin turbos. Right. So let's start here. I'm gonna go with aluminium. Or aluminium with silicon because it's better this way. Uh, let's see. We let's make it a let's go let's go to the 90 millimeter and stick the stroke with the 40. Yes, let's stick with 84 millimeter for the stroke. The, the finished product or the finished size is 30, 3,260 cc or 3.2 liter. Dual overhead camshaft. I'm gonna use five valves per cylinder because this is a racing engine. This is not a street engine. And let's go billet steel, titanium, lightweight, forged, plus 15 quality. And since this engine will have a turbocharger, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna stick it to 9.5 to one. Let's go for 90 VVT for all cams, plus 15 again. And God help us all with this 40 psi turbo mm -hmm. injection direct injection throttle per cylinder performance let's stick with 100 at the start 13.5 to 1 50 ignition timing and let's see if we can hit more than 8000 Let's see here, high floor three way, no need, no need, plus 15. Right, so. <clears throat> is Does this method work? Let's see. 500 horsepower. Right, let's see how much fuel I can inject in. So, so far, close to 10.3. So, yes, yeah, so much fuel. How about the camshaft? The camshaft is losing power, so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Right, 83. Now the turbo cannot go any higher in, in boost, so. Right, the turbine has to be smaller. Right. So this is the maximum or the biggest size here. Let's see. 600 horsepower and... Right, so this is the correct size so far. 600 horsepower. Ah, 
got the mod to exhaust. That's why the engine was choking. Alright, 930 horsepower. Mm -hmm. There's no point of increasing the size of the camshaft because we are not gaining anything. As you can see, the fuel is on the max, the ignition time goes on max, the turbo running at 40 psi. I mean, this engine has reached its max potential. The exhaust cannot go any larger. Let's see here, any difference here? No. Mm -hmm. So yes, the engine right now is running at its, its full potential. They caused by high torque. Really? Titanium and the engine is eating itself. As I, as I said before, this is not a good idea to put that much boost in, but we wanted that, so this, I think we have to decrease the, uh, not, not the boost, let's try and decrease the, oh, because I want the torque to go a bit down, yes, like that. So we have to, if we want this engine to run reliable without any problems with the pistons or anything else, uh, we have to run it at 921 horsepower and 734 pound feet of torque. Let's see if I can fix that by using forged. Right, go back high again. Forged is better than lightweight forged if you want to use. You want to use higher, higher torque engine, right? So now we don't have to run it at, at we don't have to run it at 921. It's 930 now, and 745 pound feet of torque. Wow, that's just wow. All right, let's see how this monster will sound. So as you saw guys, the engine is making ton of power and ton of torque, but as you can see the game is choppy now. I mean the frame rate is crappy. I don't know what the, why why does that happening? That, that, why the hell is the Cadillac like, converter that big? Why do they have to make it this this big? I mean look now the size is good now. <laughs> look at the exhaust size. And it's just ridiculous. I mean you have to decrease it a little bit, make it make it like the real deal. If I'm to make more horsepower, I have to make the exhaust look like look like crap. No Cadillac converter. Yeah, that's more like it. Look at the size of the of the exhaust of that thing. Right. So this is a racing car. This is a racing car. No need for emission control and crap. So, uh, since the game is choppy, the only solution is to, to press the X button and load the engine again. Where the hell did Alright. It's 900 and something horsepower, and so let's see. No. Ah, here we go. That's the engine. Alright, the, the game now is not choppy at all. Now let's hear the engine again and enjoy it.